First, I just wanted to say thank you for purchasing the 521 series uh, Mixcal thermostatic mixing valves. The 521 series is a point of distribution mixing valve that works great in hydronic systems. It is also low lead, so it can be used in domestic hot water applications as well. This short video should help give you some tips on installation to make your install go a little bit quicker. When you open the box, the first thing that you should notice is going to be your installation instructions. Make sure to read those because they will contain a lot of important information that might not be covered in this video. And after carefully reading those instructions, you will find in the box uh, the body of the mixing valve along with the tail pieces, union nuts, and the sealing washers. The tail pieces will vary based on the model. They are available in NPT, sweat, and press connections. If you ordered a model with check valves, it will come with one check valve for the hot inlet and one for the cold inlet. Some more models, the check valve will snap into place in the tail piece, and other models, the check valve will be held in place by a screen. If you ordered a sweat model of our mixing valve, you will want to make sure that the check valve and the O-ring are not in the tailpiece while you're soldering. Before installation, you're going to want to make sure to flush the system out properly uh, to remove any possible debris that might get caught in the mixing valve. Uh, the mixing valve itself can be installed in any orientation, whether it be upright or upside down, and it can be installed with or without a heat trap. If you are installing it in a hydronic system, you are going to want to make sure to pump away from the mixed port on the mixing valve and not pump into the hot or cold inlets because it will not work properly. The outlet temperature on the mixing valve is adjustable with the knob on the top of the mixing valve. The scale on the mixing valve, min through maximum, corresponds to roughly about 85 to 150 degrees, but you're going to want to confirm that outlet temperature with a thermometer to make sure that it is correct. Once you've adjusted the knob, got your temperature set and confirmed it with a thermometer on your outlet, the knob of the mixing valve is lockable to prevent tinkering or adjustments after you've left the job site. You'll notice on the top of the mixing valve there is a small Phillips head screw. That screw is removable. At that point you can pull the, the knob off of the mixing valve and you'll notice there is a stop on the mixing valve and a slot inside the knob itself. That slot slides over the stop on the mixing valve and then you just reinstall that screw and tighten it down. At that point, the knob is no longer adjustable. Just remember too, for domestic hot water applications, we do recommend no higher than 120 degrees outlet temperature to prevent scalding. I hope these tips have been helpful. If you have any other questions, make sure to contact your wholesaler, your rep, or us directly. And thanks for watching.